This is Joseph Coco. I'm at Comic Con 2016 on behalf of Becca Hilburn's Art Process blog and YouTube channel. If you could introduce yourself, Sabrina and Joseph. Hey, I'm Sabrina. Um, I did these pieces. Okay. And Joseph. I'm Joseph Witt, and um, I made these little postcards of businessmen and chefs, and I made these JoJo comics about and weed. And we both worked on this one. Oh yeah, I drew it. She colored it. Awesome. And it's, uh, it's about the end of the show right now, so you've broken down your table a little bit. I know you guys have quite a bit more, um, especially in terms of display. Uh, this is your first time coming to Comic-Con, uh, we, we talked about briefly. What's been your experience at the show in terms of how customers have responded to your style, how they like the prints and the comics and that sort of thing? Um, it went really well, actually. Um, I think I was expecting it to be a little smaller. Okay. Yeah, I know it's grown... Uh, significantly over the years. Did you do a lot of research on the show before you came here or you just signed up hoping to get in and happened to get in? Um, we pretty much just signed up hoping to get in. We live really close by so okay. it wasn't a huge investment for us. Yeah, I understand. So you're not even in a hotel, you're just driving in every day from home? Yeah, we're just driving. Awesome. Uh, and what got you started doing conventions? Um, I don't know, I guess yeah, I think they seemed fine. <laughs> there was a really local one, uh, Falcon in Montebello. And so we went to that just, you know, for the hell of it. And it was really fun, and we heard about this one, and so we figured it would be the next step on the ladder of con yeah. stuff. Yeah, and definitely starting at a smaller con is, is a good idea in general for artists. Yeah. Um, so what's been your experience with um, how people are responding to your prints? Um, I know you had everything up on display. Uh, you're unfortunately at the opposite end of the entrance in the artist alley. Are, are people making it around here and are they stopping when, when they see your artwork? Um, yeah, it seems like they're making it over here pretty okay. Um, it did seem like it was busier uh, in the middle sections, but yeah. a surprising amount of people have come this way. I feel like we did really well. Okay. And um, it's coming up on closing hours right now. Uh, would you say it was a steady flow of traffic throughout the day, or were there like hot periods in which it was just a big bustle of people buying all at one time? I feel like it started kind of slow. Yeah. Like it starts kind of slow each day, and it gets steadily busier. I feel like it gets really busy um, like two hours before it closes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then like an hour before it closes, it's, like it's pretty dead right now. Yeah, so you think people are probably holding on to their money until close to the end of the show, and yeah, then they're just going crazy. I think so. I think going they're just coming to make like last minute decisions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of people told us uh, at the booth that they were um, wanting to walk around the rest of the alley before they made any purchases, so that's not unreasonable. Um, so are you guys planning on doing uh, shows in the future, or are you just playing things by ear at the moment? Um, I guess kind of playing things by ear. I'd like to do more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just figure out where to go from here, I guess. Right. And how did you decide to share a table? Was that just um, for financial reasons or because you didn't feel like you would be able to fill up a table on your own each? I don't know. I think partially just doing a con on our own seems scary. But yeah. Yeah. So it helps to have somebody right next to you that can watch your booth if you need to go somewhere or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or just yeah. having someone around too. But... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like um, our stuff fits together well enough, like, um, yeah, quantity-wise, sure. so... Yeah, I agree. Um, so, speaking of, did you have a problem with people uh, not understanding that you were two separate artists? Did they think that you were a studio? I mean, obviously, you do have um, some pieces together, but did they think that you were a single studio and just trying to um, get from one person and then saying, okay, I covered that booth, I'll go somewhere else now? I think some people were thinking that I was drawing what she was drawing yeah and so like I think they get a little confused but oh, it was really fine I think once I started like being more like like assertive and pointing it out that I, yeah yeah I have to do that a lot because I don't while I do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff for Becca's table I don't actually do anything creatively for anything yeah. she produces so when people tell me that they love my work I'm like well Becca's the artist <laughs> yeah. but thank you very much we appreciate it yeah I feel like people would constantly like be not sure which business card to get yeah. yeah that can definitely be a problem too um I've found in the past what helps I can't remember if you guys had it but uh different tablecloths for different oh, yeah. sections that of the table sense. um yeah. it really makes a, a clear divide of uh, but I mean some people also use tablecloths just to accent certain areas so even then it's it's a, a mishmash 
Um, so would you have any advice to someone who's, to an artist who's considering uh, tabling at Comic-Con for the first time, like yourselves? Um, Draw fan art, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, be, and be open to commissions. Yeah. Sure. We, commissions like, at the show, right? Or do you mean yeah. at, after the show? Or I guess even after, but um, like during just having like small sketch commissions, that seemed to have gone really well. So then you can get like that niche market of like specific characters that people want drawn or their OCs and stuff. Yeah, because yeah, I don't think the entire time I was here, I was packed with those. So it's a really good way to make additional income without having to worry about printing costs or anything. Okay. And I don't want to go into details about numbers, but how did you decide how to price your commissions in general before um, coming to the show? Or I is that something that you changed as the show uh, um, went on? I guess just depending on how quickly you can finish them, really. Yeah. Because I had them for about 10, but that's just because I felt like I'd get through them pretty quick. So. Yeah. So it's really just time management for you. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah rather, rather than trying to figure out how much you can get out of each customer, it's just yeah. how many can I do? Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, like, cut it off when you think you can't do any more. Because I almost. Yeah. I don't know. I think I cut it really close this time. So. Okay. And where can we find your work online? Oh. Um, should I just get like a business card out or something? Uh, sure. Oh wait, no, they're in. Oh, sure. okay. I'll just say it. Yeah. Say it. Okay. Um. You can find me at um, rebrego.tumblr.com. That's I R R I I B R E G O. Okay. And I am on Tumblr at obligatorymorningfart.tumblr.com. Very professional. Yeah, I need to change that if I ever want to like. Oh, it's fine. But whatever. It's, I've had it for a couple of years, so like. Yeah. I th if it makes people laugh, it's more likely to make them remember it. So. Yeah. I mean, you could argue that it's not professional, but. If customers remember you, who cares? Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> okay, um, Joseph, did you have any advice for artists considering tabling at uh, at the uh, convention for the first time? Yeah, I guess go with a friend. Don't go by yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of scary. So yeah, yeah, have friends. Pack lots of sandwiches so you don't have to pay for expensive con food. Oh yeah. It's like ten bucks for a burger. So yeah, just like make a bunch of sandwiches. Yeah, unfortunately, Comic Con isn't surrounded by food. There's a few places within like a 10 minute walking distance, yeah. which I ended up going to because the food lines seemed like they were far too long for oh, me. Really? So. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it was like empty, but. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you guys had a good con. I'm sorry for keeping you a little bit later, but no, I really okay. appreciate you talking to me. Yeah, no, that yeah. was great. All right, thank you. All right, thank you.